Hello everyone and welcome to a new DB Schema tutorial. In this video we're going to talk about the schema synchronization process. To understand this process we first have to understand what a project file is. When we open a project in DB Schema, everything we see on the screen is stored locally in a project file. The project file contains the local image of the schema, the layouts and the data tools. If we are connected to the database, every change we make in the project file will be automatically updated to the database also. If we switch to offline mode, the changes we make in the project file will be stored locally. For example, let's delete a column from the staff table. Then, let's reconnect to the database. If we hit the refresh button, we can see that DB Schema found one difference between the project file and the database. From here, we can review the changes. We can see that the phone column is missing from the local project file, but in the database it still exists. From here, we can choose an action. We can choose to drop the column from the database or create the column in the local project file. The synchronization process can be made the other way around. Let's say that you work in a team and the database was modified while you were offline. When you reopen DB Schema, you will compare and synchronize your local project file with the current version of the database changed by the other team members. For now, let's drop the column from the database and execute the script. DB Schema offers different options for synchronizing the local schema with the database. For example, you can create a schema from scratch and update it into the database or compare two different versions of the same project file. We can choose what happens with the differences, then generate a migration script. The project file is saved in XML format and can be stored in Git or any other versioning system. This makes it very easy to share it in a team. Another useful option is located in the New Connection dialog, under the Options tab. From here, we can set different names for the same schema in different databases. That's all for this schema synchronization video. Thanks for watching and see you next time!